Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you distribute a form via email, then you will receive the form responses via email as an attachment. To collect and track the responses to the form, open the attachment in the email you receive to launch the Add Completed Form to Response File dialog box. Select the Add to an Existing Response File option button. If you have multiple forms that are currently distributed, use the Adjacent drop-down to select the response form associated with the received form response. If it is not shown in the drop-down list, you can click the Browse button to launch the Select Existing Response File dialog box so that you can navigate to the response file, click it to select it, and then click the Open button in the dialog box to add it to the drop-down if needed. Although rarely used, if needed, you can also create a new response file by selecting the Create a New Response File option button. You can then click the Adjacent Browse button to open the Create New Response File dialog box where you can select a location to save the new response file and then click the Save button within the dialog box to save it. Now after selecting the correct response file within the Add Completed Form to Response File dialog box, click the OK button. Acrobat collects the form data within the selected response file and displays the welcome page of the selected form response file. Read the information shown in the welcome screen as it shows you the functions that are available in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file. After reading this screen, click the Get Started button that appears at the bottom of the welcome page. All of the form data that has been collected is listed in the form response file. Note that this file uses a PDF portfolio layout. Responses received in this file are listed as separate files within this view. You can use the buttons shown in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file to update, filter, export, archive, add, and delete form data. To save the data in the form response file, click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the form response file window. Now, if you distribute a form via a shared network drive, then the responses are automatically saved when a user completes the form within the link or attachment in the email that you sent them. Their answers will be automatically imported into the form response file associated with the form when you next open the form response file. You can open the associated form response file within the tracker window. To do this, click the track button that appears in the forms panel within the Tools pane of the Task pane in order to open the Tracker window. Then select the form that was saved to a shared network location for which you want to import the saved responses by selecting it under the Distributed category in the Forms category at the left side of the Tracker window. You can then click the View Responses hyperlink in the area to the right to open the form response file for the selected form. Acrobat will automatically import any new responses received into the form response file. To save the data into the form response file, click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the form response file window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.